Asana versus Microsoft Project. Which one should you be using? Have you got a small business? Have you got an enterprise? Are you just beginning or are you familiar with this type of software? Don't worry folks, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to know when choosing a platform to manage all of your projects. So let's get into it. So first of all, jumping into Asana, you can see that it's very simple. The layout is awesome. You have an AI implementation over here that you can use to build projects, manage projects, organize your projects, and pretty much everything else in between that you need an assistant for. On the left hand side, you have a list of items which include your reporting. You can see some deep analytics in over here on your insights. You can create portfolios and you can manage all of these portfolios right from Asana. You can also create goals, which is fantastic. If you have some company goals, team goals, or even some personal goals, you can manage your progress and you can track what sort of movement is happening there. Creating projects is also quite a simple thing um, from using a blank template to a template that has been built for you that you can customize. It's really straightforward. Some of the other nice features from Asana include the app store that they have. You also have some capabilities here such as the project management, project views and custom fields. You can have some workflows and automations as well. And this just allows you to do everything in one place. It's actually quite fantastic. Having a look at Microsoft Project, which of course is a paid product. Initially, I want to just mention that. And if you are a part of the Microsoft 365, if you have an account there, you can actually use Microsoft Project. But again, it has all of the basic features to make your project management easy and free flowing. You have a bunch of templates that you can use from, you can stay on track. All of your movements are um, tracked. You can view all of your analytics. There is a ton of lovely features. There's also an AI implementation, which will help you build projects, manage projects and manage your team in all. Let's have a look at some of the pricing though. Asana is starting at $11 with an advanced plan of $25 and an enterprise plan that could be who knows how much. Microsoft 365 though, if you are using a Microsoft 365 plan, you can actually sign in here and it's included. However, it does start at $10 for their small plan and they do have a $30 and a $55 plan, which gives you pretty much a good range of features. Now, Microsoft 365 is probably very complex, and to be very honest, I'm not really into complex software. Asana, for me, really is going to win this one. I think Asana is fantastic for any type of business. If you want to manage your projects, if you're looking as a small business to manage your projects, Asana is fantastic, but they also do have those advanced features. So if you want to get technical, you can still do it, and the price is not too crazy well let us know what you think in the comments section below we'd love to actually hear from you we'll see you in another awesome video peace out